Hi guys, welcome back, and today guys, I'm going to share with you how you can track and blur faces in video. So even when you're moving, the blur moves with you, or the object you're trying to blur. And as you know, KineMaster is my preferred choice on mobile for editing. So that's the app we're going to use today. Just quickly, the comment of the day and shout out goes to my the queen. And this person says, can you do a tutorial about putting a blur that blurry thing on my face? That video will be really awesome. Well, you're watching it right now. And a uh, huge shout out to you. And also, if you guys have a suggestion, and if I actually do that video, your comment could be picked. Of course, we jump to the app. So opening Kind Master, then click Create Project. And then if you don't notice, you have to click 16 to 9. Then you go to media and then find the clip you want to apply the effect to. And then I'm going to take out all the unnecessary parts. Just leave the part where I'm moving my head. Now I click check mark. Then you can zoom in by pinching out with the fingers so you can see it in more detail. Now I go to layer. Then you go to effect. Then you click basic effects. And then you have two options, mosaic or Gaussian blur, but we're just gonna go with Gaussian blur. And the basic blur effect, I believe is free. If you want some other fancy effects, you're gonna have to get Kind Master Premium. Now we have this rectangle, but we wanna make shape only close to our face, obviously. So click shape, then you click this circle, then you click check mark. And don't worry about uh, that is a square, the, the mask effect is just a square, but really the blur is a circle. Then you go to settings to make it more blurry and then adjust how much you want. And now once you're comfortable with the blur you have, now click check mark. Now this is the part where you make it move together with your video. AKA track the face with the blur mask. On the left side, there's this little key tool next in the middle. You click that. Now on the right, under animation, there is a circle with a plus sign, so you click that. And that created a single keyframe right now. Keep moving your video. And every time you move in your video, make sure to readjust the mask to the proper position. You see on the bottom, keyframes are added automatically. Let's add a couple of more frames. Now I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to wait long so you can see the final effect. And also you can increase the size of the mask for one keyframe. when you're finished export the video and as you guys know choose a good quality and here's the final effect i know the tracking is not perfect but it's just to show you make sure to subscribe because i post videos like these every single week and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like thank you so much for watching and if you want other kind master tutorials click this playlist i'll see you next time guys bye